Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about what happens inside each round in DES. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the overall structure of the DES. So please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So coming to today's class, our DES is using Fistel Cipher technique. Means non-invertible elements are used in Fistel Cipher. Even though we are using non-invertible components, still we during the decryption, we can decrypt it. How we can do that? That discussion made in our previous classes when we discussed the Fistel Cipher. There we have provided an idea. Please watch that class and come back here. But here in this class in our, and in our next class, you are going to get a real life example how Fistel Cipher works in reality. So this class and next class com combination, you are going to get the complete idea. Now coming to what happens inside each round in DES. Each round will take 64 bit input as plain text and it is going to generate 64 bit output. So that's why this 64 bit input is divided into two halves, left half and right half. So this is round i, that's why it is taking input from round i minus 1, that's why l i minus 1 or i minus 1, 32 bit, 32 bit. So because, because there we have provided the intuition why we have to divide this input into two halves, because it is using Fistel cipher. Again, again, we will provide you an idea. This, see what happens here. L right hand side, this 32 bits is taken as input to this function. This function is a non-invertible function. Means, whatever the output that this function is going to generate, that output is non-invertible. We discussed the components of uh, S-box and P-box which are invertible and non-invertible. Invertible can be, you can return back, but non-invertible components, you can you cannot bring back the plain text. Still, even though you are using non-invertible components, still we are getting the output. So what happens here? Because of the exclusive R operation. See here, what happens here is, in the round one, the right half is taken as input to this function. For this function, we are taking a, right half as the input and ki key in this ith round is taken as input and this function means here you can use s box p box exclusive operation whatever we are you want to do do it here this discussion will be made in our next class it is going to generate some output this output which is non-invertible output this is taken here and the left half is doing exclusive R with this non-invertible output and we are getting output here. This is 32 bit output because left half is 32 bit. Whatever this function is generating is 32 bit. This 2 is exclusive R here and we are coming it output and this right half is sending as it is to the next round. This is the point you need to understand why this right half is sending as it is to the to the next round because without this Fistel cipher will not work. Why it won't work? Let's try to understand. See here, this right hand side again, here it is taking it as swapper. Swap means right hand side is coming to left hand side, left hand side bits are coming to right hand side. Now assume that this is the last round, this is taken as input to the decryption. So this right hand side as it is we got here in the decryption because in the decryption we have to use this right hand side in the function again otherwise we cannot Fistel cipher will not work. That's why that's why we are dividing this into two halves. So during the decryption this right hand side again used here. Because Fistel cipher works like this, during the encryption, plain text plus f of k comma right hand side, key comma right hand side, it is going to generate, a, it's not exclusive, it is, it is exclusive, p exclusive with 
f of k comma r it is going to generate a cipher text if the cipher text during the decryption cipher text plus again you need to use the f of k comma r without this r how come you generate this in the decryption because it is a separate it is a, this is source mobile decryption happens in the destination mobile so destination mobile also need to need to need that input r otherwise it is not going to generate this function is not going to generate because key is shared but this r is not shared previously that's why in the input it is sending this r value so that's why c exclusive or f of k comma r c means how you got this c plain text plus f of k comma r it's not plus exclusive or f of k comma r exclude so this is what c means c exclusive or f of k comma r means this f of k comma r f of k comma r going to cancel and you are going to get p and the immediate doubt you will get some of them you will get is a so only half of them we are going to encrypt what happens to this remaining half that's why this remaining half this right hand side is sent as input to the next round in the next round that's why we are swapping here it is moving to the left side again it is going to be encrypted so that is how that is how encryption done for the entire 62 bits in in this round it is happening for left side for next round this right side is going to get encrypted like that it is going on hope you got clarity what happens in a round in a uh, des in our next class we are going to understand what happens inside this function f of r minus i minus 1 comma k i if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you